Today, the pink one attempts to capture her first leprechaun. First, she must identify the leprechaun. They are small, green, and prone to good luck. It seems that the pink one has spotted what she believes to be a leprechaun. Small, green, and holding a four-leaf clover. A universal symbol of luck. This is indeed a leprechaun. Next, she must capture the leprechaun. The pink one must lure the leprechaun to her by enticing her with bait. Not exactly sure why a pair of gloves is bait, but it appears that the leprechaun has spied them and is approaching. Hands! A simple yank of the string and the leprechaun is secure. Twasher, twasher, twasher! Indeed, pink one. The leprechaun is magically bound to share with you her pot of gold, which is located at the end of a rainbow. See how the leprechaun can summon a rainbow without the presence of rain. This leprechaun was indeed a rare find for the pink one. Following the rainbow, we can see what appears to be a large black pot. This is it, the moment the pink one has been waiting for. The moment she will share the treasure of the leprechaun, and that treasure is a golden lyre. The leprechaun has fulfilled her magical obligation and has shared the treasure of music with the pink one. It's kind of cute. Leprechaun! I feel like I'm like slowly going into like Spanish somehow. This is indeed a leprechaun. Okay. Now I sound Italian. It seems that the leprechaun has spied them and is now coming over to you. <laughs> you come to the pink one. Oh, well, au revoir, toodaloo. Ha, ha, ha.